Hey everybody, it's Dazran303, and I'm doing a commentary here on Kill Confirmed on the map Carbon. So I think this is my first upload on the map Carbon, so this is also the very first upload, uh, very first episode in the series called Mission Moab. So this is going to be a very good series, guys. Uh, I do a couple of announcer parts, you'll hear one right now. Alright Dazran, let's see you get the Moab in this mission. So let me think what you, uh, le let me think, let me know what you guys think of those little announcer bits. Do you, do you think the kind of, uh enhances the gameplay in any way at all or does it does it disrupt the gameplay in any way just let me know in the comment section I'd really like your opinion on this because um, I plan on doing this series over on the Machinima Respawn channel and I would be interested to know should I leave in those little announcer parts if I was to upload a gameplay onto the Machinima Respawn I think it makes it kind of unique it's a nice little touch but I want your your opinion guys so please uh, if you have time leave a comment in the comment section it would be great so uh, there's a funny moment actually coming up in this game. Look, he's following him and he's following the other guy. <laughs> of course, I just managed to run through everybody. That was cool. Um, in this gameplay, I'm actually the host. So, um, you know, I did get actually get an, a lot of subscribers over the last week or two. So I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with the Wii. But what is going on with the Wii at the moment is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the Wii is experiencing a lot of issues that nearly makes the game unplayable at times like in this gameplay I am the host and I'm not really sure on YouTube will you notice it but there's a really bad frame rate drop here in this gameplay everything for me while I was playing this was moving around in slow motion so it was very hard to judge where people were going uh, what what was exactly happening on the gameplay like you know so it's kinda hard to you know turn a corner and take somebody out because you could be killed out of nowhere because it hasn't updated on your screen what exactly happened it's kind of hard to explain but um uh, guys I want to explain as well that I'm I'm dying here with a cold my throat is killing me my nose is blocked so if I start coughing in this gameplay I am sorry because I, I try not to do any of that kind of crap and ruin the gameplay like but uh <coughs> oh yeah coughing time <laughs> okay yeah, so the host is going very slow for me at the moment, but you know what? I said to hell with this. You know, I'm gonna kick everybody's ass. I don't give a crap how slow I go, how many deaths I manage to rack up in this gameplay. I'm just gonna have some fun and I'm gonna shoot my gun and hopefully people on the other end get killed. So, um, luckily enough, I managed to pull off a very, a, a pretty good score. So I'm not gonna ruin the score. That's my kind of thing, guys. I don't like to ruin the score. So. Uh, keep your eye on the scoreboard and you will see for yourselves and the announcer might uh, announce a couple of things later on in the gameplay so it is a pretty long gameplay but I have a couple of things to touch on so it gives me a lot of time to talk of talk about a couple of things so um, I have a couple of friends who play Modern Warfare 3 at the moment and it's very disheartening for me to hear but a lot of them are saying that because of the problems on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 they're thinking of switching console they're thinking of selling up the Wii selling all the Call of Duty games they have and they're not even going to play Call of Duty on the other consoles that they purchased they're just sick of all the problems that are happening on Call of Duty and it's, it is really disheartening I love this game I, I think this game is brilliant but I have to say in the last two days I played um, a lot of matches I'm already on prestige 1 level 10 or something like that I've only had the game 3 days or 4 days but there is a lot of problems with like I was made host about 90% of the games that I played in the last two days and as I already said when you're the host the game goes completely slow hit detection is completely bad when you're the host even though it's like in Modern Warfare Reflex it was a lot better but when you're the host on this game it's like your bullets don't even register half the time and you can just get killed by the first bullet from your enemies like it's it's really annoying like um i did actually become the host in a couple of gameplays and end the host connection because i just said look i'm not going to sit here for another couple of hours playing this game just to be the host i can't do it anymore so i would really appeal to anyone um with a bit of power up in treyarch or activision or anything like that to please fix the game for the, for us players on the wii we deserve exactly the same treatment as the other consoles get. Like, the other consoles, I know for a fact, if the Xbox 360 or PS3 
was to suffer this kind of host lag, this kind of connection issues, all these kind of problems, your game wouldn't be purchased by the players on those consoles. And I, I have no issues with this game. I think this game is a fantastic shooter. It's a great game. I just, I really feel um, that people are gonna stop buying these games if these, if these problems persist. Like, there's another bug as well in the game that is bugging me and bugging a lot of people. Is that when you're, when the game freezes, your save data goes corrupt. Now that's a really big issue. I mean. I remember when I had the Nintendo 64 and I had WC no it wasn't it wasn't WCW uh, WWF No Mercy and I I got it on launch day I think I got it for Christmas it came out around Christmas time and the cartridge released with a bug that you know the save data would delete after uh, X amount of playtime so the game was recalled and we were issued out a new game and it worked perfectly you know I don't see any fixes coming out anytime soon for this. Like, there's supposed to be a patch coming out, and I've got my fingers crossed for this patch to fix a lot of issues. But at the same time, I had Call of Duty Black Ops, and a lot of you guys did as well. And the host connection was absolutely atrocious on Call of Duty Black Ops. It was unplayable, and that never got fixed. People were saying, oh yeah, there's going to be a patch coming out, and it's going to fix the host connection. It was never fixed. So... I mean, even though this is the very first commentary I'm doing on the Mission Moab series, I wish it was on a better topic, but I really feel that these issues need to be addressed because, you know, I suppose for me as well, I'm playing games here and I'm uploading them onto YouTube, and I love I love doing that. I just got a double headshot there out of nowhere. I don't know why. That, you know, that's another issue that happens. Random red screens. There's so many triple feeds in this game, it's unreal. Like, somebody might be shooting at one person and they get a triple feed. It's it's unbelievable. I'm going to upload a Fails and Epic Moments seri or episode where I'm going to show off all the red screens I have got so far and all the triple feeds I've been a part of, even though I'm in a room on my own. It's it's hilarious. Wall banging isn't very strong in this gameplay, so I don't know where these triple feeds are coming out of. But anyway... Just these issues need to be addressed and I don't want to spend too much longer on that topic because it's not a it's not a good topic to be talking about. This is Mission Moab and this is supposed to be all about gun gameplay and all about kicking ass. So here I'm using the specialist kill streak package. Uh, I can't remember the perks I'm using now, but I've got the specialist reward. If you get seven kills, assuming you're using Hardline Pro, you get every single perk that you have unlocked. So if you've got the pro perks unlocked you get the pro perks then in your specialist bonus so that's awesome so I don't have the blast shield pro so if somebody throws a stun grenade I still get stunned but once I unlock the pro perk of that I will stop being stunned you know so I really need to unlock that that's the next one I need to go for but as I just said actually in this gameplay I did just prestige I just remembered because it was only last night when I prestige so I'm gonna have to unlock all the perks again but uh, definitely my favorite gun is the UMP and I think 100% the reason why it's my favorite gun is because of lag shooting and the issues of hit detection. Like this gun can shoot a, a lot of bullets at a great speed once you attach rapid fire. So lag shooting and all that isn't an issue because you can, you can easily spray enough bullets to kill an enemy. So that's the only good thing about using the submachine guns in this game. The reason I say that is because yesterday I was playing a game and I uh, I unlocked a new assault rifle. This is before Prestige. I unlocked this assault rifle that is a single shot. The name escaped me at this time. But it was absolutely un unbearable to play. I couldn't hit anyone with the single shotgun. Uh, I have I have done a quite a bit of sniping and I've pulled off a good couple of kills. But um, single shot weapons are, are com completely atrocious in this game. I think a lot of the snipers from Call of Duty... Uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 would have a lot of problems trying to kill people on the Wii version because of the lag shooting so uh, fingers crossed this gets fixed I know everybody's talking about a patch coming out and it's all on the Treyarch forums and no seriously it's getting fixed you know I really hope they actually fix it because it's no good in Treyarch you know sending out a patch and the problem's still going on um, I'm about to get the Moab here actually, as the announcer will tell you so this is kind of a nervy moment, I was like, oh my god, I, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know one of those moments where you're like, oh come on, it's the last kill, all I have to do is shoot him a couple of times, 
It's like the last kill you need to get is always harder than like any other kill you've ever got in your life. <laughs> so this is the Moab going off, guys. So it's, there's a cool little uh, slow motion scene going on here. I started shooting my gun because it looks epic, like. But there's a, a four-man feed with the Moab. I don't know what happened to the last guy. Maybe there was only four on the other team. I'm not very sure. So we're coming up to the end of the gameplay here. I see loads of dog tags here. You need 65 to win. So there's two guys here, and of course, I take both of them out because I'm cool. <laughs> so I pick up the last dog tag, and that's the end of the game. So... Leave your thoughts on um, what I was talking about in this commentary. What do you think about the host connection and all those issues? Please leave some comments and I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to help out the Dazran303 channel on YouTube, all you have to do is any of the following. You can add my channel to your sub box on your YouTube account. You could remember to click the like button on a video when you watch it. You could share a video you enjoyed on your Facebook wall or your Twitter account. And you could also tell your friends, family, or even Nintendo fans about my channel on YouTube. See you soon, and I love you.